for the first time, I would advise somebody to go for a second-hand car. Does it? Because it's a car that you will teach yourself how to maintain it and how, you know, to go around the market. I, I, I kupatia lessons. I lessons. Na pesa yako wate kwa yoga. At least, pesa 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 wende pale, wende pale katikati. Yeah. Good? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and as you're also looking for the first car, you should look at the price to keep it on the road. Doesn't. You see, there are some cars that are very cheap when you go to buy, but the price of keeping it running on the road is very high. The likes of the German machines like the Volkswagen Polo, mm -hmm. the Volkswagen mm -hmm. Golf, yeah. you can get second-hand options cheaper. which are very cheap. Way cheaper than a Toyota. Way cheaper than a Toyota. Yeah, yeah. You find that somebody is selling a Toyota Axio at maybe 800,000 and another person selling a, Toyota, a Volkswagen Golf which is the same condition at 800,000. So as somebody who is looking to buy a new car or a used car, you know, you have that thrill of, you know, I want a powerful car. You know, I want to make a statement. Yeah, I want that car that when I, when I get into a place, people know that I'm driving a machine. That's right. That's right. But they don't see uh, the aspect where that car will need service one day, that car will need parts one day. So, one thing that people should put into consideration before buying a new car mm -hmm. is like, what is the cost of putting that car on the road? Mm -hmm. Because you can buy a car and it can ineza kukushinda ku maintain. So uh, that is one thing that should be put into consideration. Essentially, when you go in and 